uh, this is Sanam from Public White Geek and we were doing the one signal integration with our iOS uh, Swift application and till now we have done all the prerequisite uh, server side uh, configuration I mean uh, we have uh, created the certificate the system certificate we have given that certificate to Apple we have downloaded the Apple's push notification certificate and we converted that certificate into p12 and we submitted that to one signal so all of this work is done all we need to do now is to integrate the sdk of one signal in our app so if you scroll down it says so this particular part of generating iOS push notification is done. Now we'll go back to this iOS SDK setup. So in order to do that, uh, so we have this project open. So all we need to do is uh, go to file and then new and new target. And this is going to be notification service extension. There are a couple of them notification content extension and notification service extension. We will be using notification service extension. So click on next. And then the product name, it has to be exactly the same, whatever one signal has given here. So I'm going to leave this uh, link down below and you can use it. So this is what we need to put. Do not touch anything else here and uh, yeah, so click on finish and then cancel. Do not click on activate, click on cancel. So our one signal extension target is added. Uh, you can see it over here. So we have our target over here so scroll down and then it has given you a swift code that you just need to copy and paste as it is so copy this go to one signal notification notification service dot swift so this code I'm gonna change it to this it's going to give some errors right now like this one signal error because uh, we have not integrated their SDK yet and we'll be using CocoaPods for integrating their SDK. I have a video of CocoaPods. I'm going to put the link for that as well on the description and here at the top so you can see that. Go ahead and check that video on how to integ uh, how to install CocoaPods. So Assuming that you know how to use CocoaPods, so we're going to use CocoaPods here. I'm going to close this here. And let's go to terminal. CD desktop and the name was push my try XML. So let's do pod in it. I don't like to use the Mac app that much. So I use, I prefer terminal for this work. So now your pod file, okay, let me just close this and show you in the Mac app actually so that you will know uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go to desktop. So you can see this pod file. So usually your pod file will have uh, will not have this particular thing, uh, the extension. It will have the project, the test, the target test, and UI test. So you'll have all these things, but you'll not have this. But since we added the extension, so now we have the extension as well in the pod file. Uh, let's add this, or let's uh, integrate our our one signal cocoa pot so we need to copy this and 
and paste it here under the one signal notification service extension and also in this one so in both the uh, targets that is your one signal notification service extension and your uh, project both the places you need to add these two lines or this one line as you can see here as well so project name here we have added this line and the one signal notification service extension which is this one we have added the same line right so let's click on install as you can see it's installing one signal 2.5.7 Uh, this is where we left for last time for the one signal after uploading the uh, push notification service or the certificate so if we click here check certificate it's saying uh, check subscribed users it says uh, we haven't detected any subscribed users so we'll be checking this uh, later on once we uh, install this in our phone and we run our first push notification we'll we'll get to know about it We'll come back to this later so this is done uh, integration is done and everything is done so let's close it and let's go back to desktop push so we have our xc workspace so after you install cocoa pods uh, you need to use uh, xc workspace instead of xcode project file so yeah we'll use this and we'll do a command B so that it will uh, do a you know dry run and it will uh, compile the one signal uh, pod for us so as you can see we are we have we are done with this part and will succeed so we go here and here so we'll go here and we'll check the capabilities now and we want push notification service so enable this give it a couple of minutes and both the check marks are there that means it has been integrated properly and then we need uh, one more thing uh, as it says here so we'll go here and go down to background mode which is this one right so enable background modes and enable remote notifications and then do a command B so it will build again and build succeeds done so now our app is uh, you know capable to talk to push notifications or the or the one signal server so now we're gonna allow it to talk to like uh, when I give it the give it the configuration that are required for our app or our client to talk to the push notification server which is one signal so in order to do that we'll go to app delegate and we're going to import one signal let's do a build and done good so now we'll go here and in did finish launching with applications which is this one we need to copy paste all of this like this now it is asking for your app id so we'll go back to this one and here is our app id this is our app id command B for building it up now if I check subscribed users right now it won't uh, show anything or it won't it it will not say that it's working right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my iPhone to select my iPhone here and waiting for the quick time to load and this uh, iPhone debugger report 
to be created so that it can be sent to Apple. So once that is done, I'm going to come back and then continue with running this uh, project on iPhone. Once we run the project, it's going to pop up uh, asking me to allow push notifications. As soon as I allow push notifications, this one should start working. And then we will try and send a push notification from one signal. I'm trying to run a project directly and let's see if it can bypass the if I click on allow and now if I check check subscribed users you can see it's working it's running on iPhone 9 which is basically iPhone 7 plus has been subscribed successfully and done so now our SDK is working our phone is talking to the server, server is talking to the phone let's try and send a push notification and see if it works so click on new message and uh, let's send to everyone next uh, let's say hey hey title and hey message or let's say awesome right so this is how it was gonna look like on iOS you can see this is how it will look like uh, a title awesome so let's put it like my first notif and next so I'm gonna keep everything default you can go ahead and you know uh, customize these things further uh, if you guys want me to explain it to you all of these extra things uh, do put it on the comment section or tweet me and I'll see if we can make a video for this as well confirm and send message so now my device as you can see it received a message my first notif awesome right don't tell me man I'm gonna create a second uh, push notification while I'm outside the app so we'll see if the push notifications work for that as well notif to an awesome to so I'm outside the app right now next next confirm send message and you can see I have my notification here I can further customize you know like uh, tapping on the notification which screen should pop up or these things can be done as well uh, but they are not a part of this video so that's all for the push notifications guys if you like it please do subscribe the channel like this video and uh, let me know if you need any other uh, particular target topic that you want that I should make a video on do let me know through my Twitter account uh, message me there and um, comment below until then goodbye take care